Also, new at six, a new year means new rules for filing your taxes. NBC 15's Michael Stevens joins us now with more details on what you can expect. John, that's right. It's that time of year again, and tonight we hear from an expert to help you make it a little easier. The first piece of advice from tax professionals, wait. You don't want to file a return that's wrong and then have to go back and correct that mistake later. Make sure you not only have all of your W-2s from employers, but also that you have all of the 1099 forms from banks and investment companies. Sometimes those can come as late as February. Once you have all of your documents, there are some changes this year. First, there is no longer a making work pay credit. There is a new way to report gains and losses on your return. In Wisconsin, a health savings account is now treated the same as on the federal level. And tax day is April 17th this year, since the 15th falls on a Sunday. It can still be a very confusing process, especially if there's things that are new to you for this year. Lori Veerman is getting ready for tax season. I actually have to sit down. I mean, certainly I'm gathering the information as it's coming in in the mail. She also owns her own business. What would you like done today? <laughs> With being busy as a dentist and then also trying to manage the business to have to keep track of everything. I just think it would be an impossible task. For Lori, that means turning to the pros. You want to make sure you're keeping all your records for the business of anything you've had to spend to make your business go and to make it operate. You can deduct any fees you're paying to other professionals to help your business write, any supplies that you have to buy for your business. The rule of thumb, keep all those records for seven years. Vanderloo says the IRS website and the Wisconsin Department of Revenue site have good resources to help you in the process. If you are using any online software to help you file, he says make sure you do your research. Different programs may be better depending on your situation. And believe it or not, even before you file your taxes this year, it's already time to start thinking about next year. Now is also the time to really be looking ahead at 2012 and any strategies you might want to take advantage of to reduce your 2012 taxes. Now there is one other piece of advice. If you e-file, you can have your refund directly deposited into your account, which means you'll get your money much faster.